In this video, I'm gonna show you some testing of some backlight strips on an LG TV model number 50LN 5750. So uh, this, this unit, when it turns on, it blinks the correct picture for half a second and then screen goes black. So most likely a backlight problem. Could also be a power supply problem, but from seeing how many of these backlight strips go in different TVs nowadays, it is most likely a backlight problem. So, I'm gonna say, just by looks, you won't really be able to see it in the camera, but this right here looks a bit burnt. Doubt you can see it. I'll try to get a close up. Yeah, kind of yellow there, compared to that one that's white. So that, I'm guessing, is the culprit. Sorry about the focus, but I get it. Um, so what I have here, sometimes a computer for power supply is enough with 12 volts. If you have a s inverter or whatever that you can choose the voltage on, that's the best. If you have that, that's awesome, because you can uh, connect it to these uh, contacts right there, and then up the voltage until it turns on. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I have it hooked up to this battery. That is a really sketchy setup. Do not do this. It's a Makita 18 volt battery. <laughs> I have two pieces of the frame of the TV jammed in the uh, contact slots for the battery. So it's kind of like this. On the bottom of the drill, you see those two uh, metal contacts. Same idea. Attached to alligator clips. Those go over here. And then... I'm going to show you connecting it to the TV here. So, on the uh, on this side, whatever if it's right or left, right. On the right side, they have contacts at the end because the circuit loops in the second set of lights. And the 18 volt battery will only turn on one, one half strip at a time. So, uh, you have to split them up in my situation. Uh, if I had a 36 volt battery or two put together, I'm sure I could, in series, I'm sure I could light the whole strip up. I don't know the total voltage. It's sometimes hard to tell. I think the power supply said 110 volts, but I don't know what I was reading there. So the total voltage for all these may be 110. I don't know. You have to, you really have to do trial and error because unless you can find the schematics or whatever. So this is hooked up. I'm if I short this out, that battery probably explodes. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. So here we go. I'm going to test them all. So the top one works there. I think I just have this a bit screwed up here. I'm just trying to contact the two ends there. Yeah, so this strip doesn't want to work. It may be shorted somewhere. That's the other thing I may have I may have two two uh, strips that are shorter or more. So I'm gonna put that one aside. And I'm gonna try this one. Nothing. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think it's the way I got it hooked up at the end. Yeah. There we go. So I just had it hooked up wrong at the end. So that, that one's good. These two up here are good. 
I'm gonna try this one again that I took off. I'm sure there are many better ways to clamp that up there, but I'm gonna, I'm just trying to do this quick. Come on. I swear I had this one going before, but maybe not. That one up there works. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely the way I have this clamp. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go and go through the easy ones. On, on, and they're all they're all the same brightness too. Uh, if any of them were dimmer, then uh, there'd be a problem. Oh, yeah, that one works. Yeah, so all the left ones work for sure. Now I'm going to try with this. Uh, no, this one that I think's burnt. I'm going to see if I can get something out of it. You can re-solder LEDs on, but it's definitely not the easiest. Easier just buy a new strip if possible. Very sketchy setup, don't do this with the battery. Not getting anything out of this one, but that doesn't mean much. It may be my end clip there. Or it's possible that uh, the right ones are done. Anyways, that's how you test it. Many different ways of doing it. I'd suggest a different power supply other than a battery that's kind of sketchy. Anyways, thanks for watching.